Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Dolly and Associates Roller Skate Edition. I have loved skating my entire life, and today I get to hang with the man bringing it back to Cranbrook. Roll the intro. And here we are with Kian Chung of Cranbrook's Just Music. Today we are here to talk skating and to have a little fun. Kian, thank you for joining me. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. <laughs> so tell me what you're doing here in town. Uh, I decided to do a event for family, people to come out and, uh, and enjoy something different, but also something that's been around for a while, which is roller skating. And uh, so far it's been uh, well received and it's been great. And so how often will these come about in the community? It almost works out to be every other week, but some months we have a five week month. So you kind of get a double skate on, on uh, week five and week one again, but it's pretty much week one, three, just to check the calendar and yeah. see what week we're on. I see it as a, a, a very exciting culture piece. Yeah. Um, right? Because we don't have a lot of things like we, we, we're in um, a community that's a bit restricted for our evening activities and for our family activities. That's right. Uh, and, yeah. and this is kind of even a, an athletic activity. Yeah. So you're combining all these things and it's super vintage and I'm very excited. Uh, personally, I have always been a skater and so this has um, kind of just rejuvenated that piece of childhood and youth and gosh, I was skating I was my whole life. So all of those years, now there's a, a place to come to and bring friends and bring family. And but you're doing music, aren't you too? You're making it. Yeah, so it's really nostalgic of playing different eras of music. I have all age groups. I actually, last session, I had a lot of older, if you will, generations coming out and bringing their kids out. Will you do theme nights? I will be doing theme nights. I can imagine 70s, you already have it in the plan. 80s, it's in the plan, it's in the work, yeah. So it just keep on that uh, calendar for whatever changes and it'll be, uh, yeah, keep your eye on that. That sounds wonderful. What else does the Roller Skate Cranbrook organization, uh, what else are you offering? Uh, Pre-open skate from the five o'clock onwards, it's, uh, the regular skate times is five o'clock to 11 o'clock. And then prior to that, we were offering clinics for people who want to learn additional skills, who are unsure uh, of how to skate, start, stop, properly fall, of course. And uh, those are led by a, a great team of instructors who are excellent skaters and uh, know how to properly fall and know how to just, just teach those basic skills and more advanced skills of stopping and cross skating. So the really Transitions. great stuff. Transitions. All yes, the that's good what stuff. it is. Yes, exactly. Excellent. So the equipment, do, do, is it like a bring your own? Is there rentals? How does that work? Yeah, uh, that's a great point there. I do have rentals on site, but it's first come, first serve, and uh, highly advisable to get your own because, uh, you know, like the old other rentals or bowling shoes, nobody wants their own bowling shoes, yeah. but uh, I do have rentals, but uh, highly advise bring your own uh, skates, inline or roller, and uh, obviously PPE, the personal protective equipment, helmets, knee pads, those are the basics to have. Mm, wrist guards. Wrist Always guards. my favorite yeah. were wrist guards. Yeah. Yeah. So those are always good. And so. nowadays there's a lot of websites that you can, you can, I mean, inline is more, you can buy them anywhere in town as well, mm -hmm. but quads, um, like Roller Girl, there's a lot of, because when Roller Derby came up into, um, a resurgence a decade ago, a lot of pop-up stores um, show it up. So mm -hmm. now you, you kind of have a, a greater selection of skates across the board. Yeah. And it's a great thing you mentioned that. I'm uh, partnered up with The Choice here in Cranbrook and they've been excellent with supplying uh, skates from Impala. Excellent. Um, your why? This is a beautiful piece of, as I mentioned, culture uh, and activity that you're bringing to the community. What inspired you? Um, the fact that we're going into the, a phase of a very sedentary lifestyle and people are like, oh, I don't have anything to do. There's nothing to do. And I figured, well, more families are trying to keep things together, as opposed to separating the ages. So this is a great way to do it. You get out and get a little more physical activity going on. It's a great social event. I have so many people come and go, oh my gosh, I haven't seen you in so long. Let's go for a skate. Yeah. The music choices, very genre specific. 
No, because everybody's listening to all various types of music. So I have lots of that going on. The nostalgia of roller skating. I have uh, last last session. I had three generations. I had the mom, the grandma, and the granddaughter. It was it was great to have and to see that. And they just loved all the music that was going on. So really good social environment and uh, relatively inexpensive too. I really do love the idea that you have rentals. It It's a little intimidating sometimes for people to make the bigger purchase. And if they're unsure if they're going to commit to that being an activity on a routinely basis. So um, giving that option works well for many families, I bet. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to in this activity. It's been hard for me as a parent of a handful of little people to find an activity because th that I can wrangle them all. Um, they're all different personalities and to, to, a couple of them want to go to the ski hill but then one doesn't or they want to ride bikes but then one doesn't and this is something easy for me to gather everyone. Yeah there's lots of room they can split off so you don't have to watch them all the time and if they come with their friends they can hang out in their groups of friends and the common denominator would be roller skating or inline skating but uh, the family event you bring them all at one stop do your thing have a great time. Wonderful. So tell me in the way of your clinics, um, you have some educational skills training. Are there, are there any kind of um, clinics specific to, let's say, roller derby? Actually, yeah, there's uh, going to be a few certain special clinics related to a junior derby where uh, you'll learn those skills of derby, but uh, they can probably bring into a regular skate, but we want to keep that uh, contact stuff out of the way so it's a nice family event. Yes, of course. Yeah. <laughs> but, but there is that. Um, that baseline training is so important when you're on wheels you should know, as you mentioned, to know how to stop, to know how to turn. It gives you that confidence. Um, so the skills set training, I think, will also be packed for you. Yeah, it's been pretty busy with registrations. So uh, also a link on the Facebook page for that when those come up and uh, great skills to have, even if you've skated before but haven't skated in a while it's a great refresher course no we're gonna see that right now oh right really Again, okay. we're gonna see that momentarily i've been a skater as i mentioned for a very long time um i skated roller derby for a good six years and i would call myself a an experienced skater i will fall down today okay. i have not been on skates in a good many years so it's going to be that because you haven't so regardless of skill at one point it's muscle memory Yes, so, absolutely. So, Wait to see what I have in store for you over there as well. Oh, excellent. Okay, well, how about we just bounce over to it? Sounds good. Great. And then we're going to be joined by? Dawn. She's an excellent instructor, and she's going to be with us today, and uh, maybe she'll show us a few things. Good. I'm kind of scared. Okay, well, we'll uh, I'm excited. I've known Dawn for a good handful of years. Yeah. Um, she used to play roller derby with me, so that's good. It'll be yeah. wonderful to see her on wheels again. Yeah, let's play. Yeah, okay. Excellent. Let's go. You ready to fall down? Ready when you are. Meet my friend, Don Arham. We're gonna hit the track. We're gonna dust off a little bit of our rusty skills and we're gonna have some fun. You sure are, Dolly. Let's do it. Go, Keon. <laughs> oh. No, Dolly, Dolly, no. No, are you okay? Oh yeah, of course. Damn, girl. Good. Oh, you took a knee for me. Thanks, babe. <laughs> and we're going to learn double knee drops today, kids. Uh, it's our way of staying safe on the floor. You're going to come in, you're going to keep your knees bent, hips forward, and we're going to come around one knee at a time. Tap, tap. Hips forward. That's how not to do it. <laughs> I love your stoppers. Thank you, Dolly. Heart stoppers. I see you're kicking it with the 187s. Always a classic. Classic like me. <laughs> Yay! 
God, I'm the guy. Yeah, yeah that works. Look yeah. dead in the eyes of the camera. So I heard that you guys are offering skate dancing. Dancing coming soon, come out and play. I want to thank my friends Keon and Don from Roller Skate Cranbrook. It's an amazing organization that's here now in the community. Today we got to dust off a bit of our rusty skills and we had a lot of fun. Thanks for joining me guys. Don't forget, check out Dolly and Associates on YouTube, Instagram, and of course, Shaw Spotlight. We'll see you next time. Do we get points for pushing Keenan down? No. No. Right. Don't like to push him down. Okay. Penalty box. <gasps> Somebody once asked me if I owned a condo in the penalty box. Because <laughs> I was there so much. No.